Okay, it's Booker J here at Hammerfest 2016. I'm joined by Lester's most def defined and sexy, well, three quarters of it, um, Mage or Maggi. How you doing? All right. Hello, Maggi. How are you doing, Maggi, Maggi, Maggi? Very good, very good. Um, we've got to like a bit of Madge. It's almost like Vaj, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the mic. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've known you guys for uh, too long. Um, you're playing at Hammerfest. Well, you're not. You're playing Stoner, is it? Yeah, Stoner stage, Stoner yeah. Stoner stage. It's, it's the mixed up stage. It's the one where it could be one thing, then it's another thing, then it's another thing. I can never remember what it's going to be. So, it's a confusing one. How did that come about? Because until two weeks ago, we didn't even know you were playing. Nor did we. Oh. <laughs> That explains it. was it. one of them happy accidents that happen, you know. You just like when you shit your pants. Yeah, kind of, kind of, but a better and it outcome. Warms you a up. better outcome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll finish that one. <laughs> so you just sort of got a little invite, a little nudge, and yeah, yeah. You've not. Have you been here before as punters? Oh yeah, I'm, I come here every year. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, that's how they got it. <laughs> are you? Are you DC? Are you part of the DC? What, the what, Rolton stuff? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm scum of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. So, talking to scum of the earth. Hello, guys. Hey, you doing? Hi, Jake. Afternoon. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we are here. That worked really well. So, uh, give us a quick introduction. Remember the last time we did this? Introduce yourself, tell us what part you play in the band, and describe the person to your left in three words. <laughs> start there. My name's Mark, or also known as Chopper. I play bass in Mage. Um, and that's about all I do. Uh, Woody's uh, my very good friend on the left here. Uh, he also plays guitar. Very good friend. Okay, <laughs> very good friend. Right, I'm Woody. Um, I play guitar for Mage. Uh, and the person to my left is, <laughs> is Mucka J. TBFM. <laughs> I'm Mucka J. I run TBFM Internet Radio and a lot of porn sites. Um, you might find me on JivvySavile.com. You didn't. You didn't understand. The, and the, where's the links? Where's the links? Hi. <laughs> um, and the person to my left, I don't fucking know. I was just going to say you've got the uh, a task of trying to remember, aren't you? Yeah. Tom. <laughs> Vocals. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought Tom was a drum thing. Put on chair. That's great. Go on. Tom vocals. Um, that's all I got to say about that. And this is Andy drums. Hello. You got I'm Andy. I play the drums. Uh, to my left is some random guy with a camera. <laughs> what? Topper. Topper. You've just been talked about. <laughs> so uh, you've been quiet for quite a while. Um, laid back a little bit. There's something we're going to just talk about. Touch on softly and move quite swiftly on. Ben, God rest his soul. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while now, hasn't it? Nearly a year? Since August. August he passed away. Um, it seems so long ago, but so fresh. Yeah, it's, well, it's not a day goes by that we don't all think about mm. at some point. You know, it's, it's one of those things that you never really learn to live without them, but mm. they'll always be in our hearts, you know. Yeah. And he did so much for my age, it's just, it's a... It's very fitting to keep it going for him. Of course. It's the last thing he would have wanted is for us to stop. So we're just going to keep going, keep going. He'd definitely be proud that we're here. Yeah, yeah he, he, would, he would have loved Hammerfest. I don't think he would have he imagined would have that you'd be playing at HRH. Yeah, yeah. So I, w I would never have put you in, in this vicinity whatsoever. So when I saw it the other week, when did Mage get added? Hey, <laughs> that come about? So yeah, I was I was very very confused. I'm very happy, but I was very confused. Yeah. I, I sent one of you an email saying I didn't even realise you're playing, but can we interview you? <laughs> so yeah, so the bands move forward, um, and what's going on now? Because your album, you sort of released it around the time that you came to TBFM HQ, last orders. Yeah. That's got to be a girl. That's got to be a girl. Okay. Halloween. Two yeah, years ago? 2014. Yeah. 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 Bloody hell. So we, we've been working on some new tracks. Um, so we, we were working on stuff before Ben passed, um, yeah. new stuff, but obviously, you know, um, things were on hold. Um, but we're, we're still, well, we're moving on and finishing those songs, writing some new ones. Um, not quite sure when they're going to get recorded at the minute just because of uh, schedules but um, in the near future hopefully you'll see another Mage album um, looking forward to it we've got some good songs going so. 
Is it worth dropping an EP just to remind people you're still around? Do you do you believe in the EP thing or do you prefer... Abs absolutely. I mean, all of us are music fans first and the musicians afterwards, so there's a possibility we might be doing something soon. Um, I'd like to get something out this year, um, whether it's an EP or a full length, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, we didn't know that. Well, Jay, <laughs> just Jay, we are planning. <laughs> we are planning on doing a split release with Gargandra in the summer uh -huh. on vinyl. So there will be something out before really? the end of the year. Yeah. I saw Gargantua a um, couple of years ago um, and they told me about this one time they, they did a 24 hour recording and they fucked off and just left like the, the guitars on and the, on hitting the, those big things, speaker things. Yeah. <laughs> just feeding, feeding back. And just left it and fucked off for four hours and come back and it was still going meow. Wow, wow. I have never seen anything so <laughs> slow well, in my life. We've known them guys since they were um, Cosmic Vortex to Doom, and uh, to be honest, it's just lazy on, on Scott's behalf. Just, just leaving some feeding back for four hours, I think it's just lazy. <laughs> yeah, we do it for good. Hi, Scott. <laughs> you do it for good, you just yeah. fuck off, Thanks, record God. it, and go. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you've got to put some vocals in there at some point, <laughs> whereas they don't need to. We saw them at um, somebody's um, party at um, the Clarendon in Hinkley last year. First time, I think, or the year before, first time we'd seen them, and their first track was 17 minutes long. We thought they were sound checking. <laughs> and then I think they did two more songs and that was their set. It's just like, oh, that's what stoner is, is it? <laughs> I didn't realize, but do you, do you still consider yourself stoner or are you more crossover into other genres? I'd say we were um, uh, a good bedrock of stoner, um, but we throw other stuff in. Um, Keep it interesting. Uh, there's yeah, definitely some doom. doom definitely. Um, you have a bit of blues. Bit of, as well. Definitely a lot of blues. Like, I always put down that we're stone and metal. Yeah. Because there's a thrash element to it. There is, you know, you can hear anthrax in there, but you can hear Fu Manchu in there. Half speed. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah not always. <laughs> yeah. Not always. Some, now and again, we'll go for it. So there's a bit yeah. of everything in there. Yeah. We've, we've got, kind of got influences from all directions and all genres, really. So we just try and whatever influences, we just try and put it in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and we, when we're writing, if we've got a riff, we don't generally try it at all discernible speeds. So uh, it's like what sounds best comes out, and sometimes that's going to be a fast version. Sometimes it's a slow version. Yeah. So always goddamn heavy. Always goddamn heavy. <laughs> always goddamn heavy. Yeah. So so uh, there's there's uh, collaboration with Gargantua. That's going to be quite. Slow and interesting. <laughs> um, well, we do two songs to their one. Yeah. <laughs> you can do about five songs to their one. To yeah. They are just... I, I've never seen anything like that, but seeing you guys, you've got a lot more energy for a stoner band, so I've been still trying to find what's the stoner band thing all about. Well, I've, I've been at Hammerfest since Thursday morning, so I'm not going to be that... <laughs> I'm not really that energetic to be honest. No. <laughs> Stoned. <laughs> Possibly. That's not like you, Woody. <laughs> no. You don't do that. So uh, so apart from the, apart from the uh, collaborations and the possible EP that nobody else knew was going to happen this year, <laughs> congratulations for announcing that live on TVFM. Um, these were well shot. Um, <laughs> Anything planned gig-wise? You've got any? Uh, have you got any nice trippy stonery gigs um, that you're looking to do? We've got uh, two more festivals that we're booked at, but uh, uh, back home in Leicester. So we're playing um, Uprising um, with Conan and. Uh, I don't think we like some of the bands. Uh, no, no, it's done. It's, it's done, and I've oh, it's done now. Are they all announced? Yeah, no, it's announced now. Yeah, uh, but yeah. Are you sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Phil, Phil Campbell, I just announced it. Band. That's the one. Yeah. I hope I'm allowed to say that. And Acid Rain, who didn't Acid get to Rain, play. Acid Rain, who didn't play last night because they were stuck in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> We almost yeah. were. It was announced yesterday, Jay, so we're all right. Yeah, we're cool. See, I've got no internet. I don't know what's going on. I didn't even know it was announced, so... And then, um, actually, the following month, we're playing um, a uh, Leicester local festival called Simon Says, which has some... Charity event, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> it might be. I can't remember what it's for. Yeah, I think so. I apologise, but it's, uh, it's definitely a charity event. Right, okay. 
just can't remember what it's for. It, it basically used to be a festival called Summer Sunday at De Montfort Hall in Leicester, and um, it's sort of been taken over by no, some different fun. venues. Um, and a bloke called Simon. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but we're, we're, it's it's not necessarily a heavy festival. We're uh, fairly confident in saying we'll probably be the heaviest thing on there. But you know, that's cool. Unless the wonder stuff about unless the wonder stuff changing yeah. direction. Yeah, they're suddenly on Doomstoner as well. So <laughs> we haven't heard them lately. They yeah, might have they're taken a different direction. <laughs> She's a big fan of wonder stuff over there. Go. Wonder stuff. <laughs> Are they actually over there? No? <laughs> <laughs> that could be them, I and mean, this is what we're saying, that might be them. They said they were going to turn up, but then they found out you were coming, they said we can't, we can't compete. All right. No, it's just like, they're just too awesome. So, um, okay, so we... What, what else do you want? What else do you want to get on involved with? Is there anything else you want to be? Well, we're playing that Samothrace gig with Fi uh, the Fireburg as well, aren't we? And, uh, is that? Yeah, with Garganja and Greenhorn. That's that's, that's going to be a big one. Yeah. Um, but basically, we've got something every month really for the rest of the year. So uh, what we don't want to do is clog ourselves up with too many gigs because we really want to concentrate on writing. Um, because we're looking at recording in the winter time for next year's release. So we're, we're going sort of slow and steady. Yeah. But um, we're keeping the name out there and just showing people that we're still about. So course, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, until until I saw two weeks ago, it, it wasn't that I'd forgotten about you guys, but it was just like I didn't realise I was still gigging. I thought you just got onto a little hiatus, had a step back, you know. Well, there was this the meaning of life and all that sort of thing. There was a period, obviously, sort of you know, immediately, six immediately, yeah. and then you know there was that whole. Oh, you know, can we carry on? The, the, what we came, the conclusion we came to was the only reason that we wouldn't be able to carry on was if it was too emotionally difficult to do. There was like there was no reason, you know, musically and everything like that. It was yeah. it, we we wanted to do it, but it was it would only be if we got to the point where emotionally we couldn't handle it. And we've got through that, and now we, you know we're working on the sound. Um, there's four of us here today. Hopefully, it's going to sound awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scott helped us out for a couple of gigs. Well, we had Scott from Gargandra, yeah, yeah, on guitar, a couple of gigs because we did a um, we did a tribute gig for Ben. Um, I was going to say you did last a, year, a yeah. benefit gig as well, didn't you? So did that was that hard for you to do? Yeah, it, you it was an emotional you know, night. That's yeah, was. yeah. But it was also it was, it was also really good, you know, to see so many people there as well. Um, I think on that night as well, we were we were at a point where we were happy to talk about Ben, and it brought up a lot of emotions for the people in the crowd. So. It, there was a lot of tears, a lot of hugging, and and Ben's wife was there as well. And and as you can imagine, and we raised a good little wedge of money for for his wife and his daughter. Uh, he only just had a baby. He just broke his leg, hadn't he? Yeah. He'd just been in hospital. Then they had the baby. It was just but, everything happened. Yeah. That's so you know uh, what you did. That was fantastic. But to carry on and and follow it on and manage to continue, even though it took a little while to build back up and do it, it's brilliant. And you thought you got forward. But we'll stop because I'm getting emotional yeah. about it as well. So, um, but we we um, we just decided, you know, that we couldn't. Ben, like Mark said, Ben puts so much into Mage, um, visually as well as musically, you know, a lot of the artwork, um, all the visual stuff you see that we've put out, um, CDs, he just did it all, he was amazing at that as well, and um, we couldn't, if we if we were able to carry on, we just knew that we, we had to, if we could. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, uh, you're going to say something, <laughs> No, um, I think we'll just leave it there, and I think we'll just uh, we'll head off. We'll get you up onto that stage, and we'll be up there, and you're going to make a lot of noise. Make some noise, though, yeah. A lot of noise. Should be good. Looking forward to it. Hammerfest. See you down the front. Yeah. Well, to, before we finish, for you, you've been coming here for years. These guys have never experienced this. How did you explain it to them before they got here? How did um, you sell it to them? It's it's a very nice laid-back festival. Everyone can do their own thing, come and go, watch some bands, party at the, you know back at the, the chalets and stuff. It's um, it's a really good atmosphere. So you know, it's, Jay, it's the first good. the first thing he did was show us where the bar was. That's all he's bothered about. That was it. What? And said you're buying all weekend, bitch. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's how it rolls in Mage. Yeah, that's how it works, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're the boss, they follow, <laughs> you deal with it. <laughs>
something like that. <laughs> anyway, congratulations on getting here, Cheers, and you. I hope you you break. I wouldn't say break a leg, but <laughs> break your backs or something like that. <laughs> I'll break a string. There you go. <laughs> break break a split. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Thank you, Ken.